Hello, and thank you for choosing my tutorials for your Blender 3D education. I'd like to start off with some self-promotion real quick. Please visit www.russimf.com. There you can find all of these tutorials and more. I have renders that I have done there and also weekly contests for the new best render featured on my main page. You can also find free textures you can use in modeling your own file under the Files tab. Please be sure to support the site by clicking on an ad while you're there. I'm doing this for free and I could really use the support. In and enjoy the tutorials. Hello and welcome to the uh, part two of tutorial 12. Uh, real quick, I just want to go back and uh, touch on some things that I changed in between videos. Uh, the halo size on the uh, lightsabers, we want to go set the white one to 0 0.068 and you want to set the orange one to 0.156. Uh, this will give you a lot better, a lot better of a saber if you look here you can see that's much much more realistic okay um, go ahead and after you take care of that uh, advance the scene to frame 250 and that's gonna put us right with our character drawing his weapon all right uh, to get these uh, to get the lightsaber to move appropriately and uh, to make everything look good uh, we're going to add an armature so uh, add armature and we're gonna set that up on there on the uh, saber itself it's pretty much centered I'm just got to get it lined up on there right and this is one of the big reasons why you want to keep everything pretty much on the same plane. It makes it easier to do this, which I failed to do, so now I'm suffering because of it. It doesn't have to be perfect, just uh, as close as possible is what you truly want. And then to finish it off, just go into edit mode and grab that end. Wind it up right. There you go. And that should be pretty much it. Uh, leave a little tip out here so it's easy for you to uh, name it. Uh, go ahead and name the armature. Uh, name it uh, Saber under the OB in the editing panel. And then come in here and as you can see, I already added a modifier. Uh, add Saber or you want to add an armature, name it Saber. Same with the other one, because you have two halos, so you need both. And if you come in here, go into pose mode, you will see that it moves together. You don't have to weight paint it. Yay. Okay. So if we come back in here now, put our Saber on our guy, he is now holding a lightsaber. Um, to do this and make it look good, what you want to do is... Uh, you want to advance frame by frame and do it like that. Okay, so uh, this is going to be the first frame. I'm not going to go over absolutely everything as far as FX go. Uh, I will do more advanced tutorials. This is just supposed to be a, a you know an, a welcome into it. It's a basic tutorial, so don't hate me for it. Uh, okay, so we're going to place the lightsaber in there. Location, rotation, scale. All right, and then we advance it one frame. And as you can see, the hand moved. Uh, now it's important when you're taking the video, if you end up doing this on your own, uh, make sure that you hold something in your hand that you can align the lightsaber to. Uh, that's going to give you the best result. So once that is done, just render that image, make sure it looks good. And then lock it. And then do it again. that's not right then you can always move it lock it again and uh, render the image again like I'm doing here and just continue to do it until it looks right and 
Now you have to lock it before you render the image, so you know. Okay. See, and that's the basic idea behind it. Um, it's nothing too serious. Uh, you can add some cool effects in the background here. Uh, like, as you see, there's a TV behind uh, this person. Um, you can add a plane. Size it down a little bit. Just uh, match it up to the TV. Like that. And then uh, what you'll see here is you make it. <coughs> excuse me. Uh, just make it white. And uh, make it a transparent. Like that. And then add a little bit of reflection to it. And you should see a reflection of the saber in there. Uh, that's something that we'll go over a little bit later. The, uh, the main things I just want to focus on are uh, just so you know how to add a video or a picture to the camera for uh, viewing and also for rendering. So uh, let me just go over that one more time. To add a video to the camera, you just go to View, Background Image, and then you load it in movie you know you load it in real easy okay if it's uh, a picture you're doing then still obviously right, make sure to click auto refresh and cyclic if you don't do that it'll look like crap it won't work uh, and then for the background background uh, the one that is going to render uh, make sure you go to textures while, while the camera is selected go to textures uh, add an image uh, do movie and frames Make sure to check the frames, auto fresh, and cyclic. Also, you have to go to uh, ch -ch -ch map two, horizon, uh, horizon, and uh, click paper. If you don't do that, it won't work. Okay. Uh, if there's any more questions on this tutorial, uh, feel free to let me know uh, in the comments block, and I will be more than happy to answer whatever questions you have. I right, remember visit www.russ that is r u s s i m f dot com for all your questions, concerns, and uh, for more tutorials. Please, please, please click on an ad. I can really use the support. Thank you.